Okay. I really liked how they handled episode three about Dead on Love. The just like the way they handled the colors and the shading to set the atmosphere and the mood of certain scenes like at night. I just really enjoyed that and that it's not too colorful but it's also not too dark. When it's day it's like the right kind of mix. When it's night they give it a good like shading and darkening of the color story. I really enjoy that part. But also how they explain and uh, handle in the explanations of like powers and it's more so about how you use it than what it does necessarily. And uh, really like how they handle in, uh, they didn't give her her name this episode, but Gina, a favorite for me, and especially what's coming up. And her and Fuku bond in, that was, how they handled that was nice. And also her change up in her voice when it was time for things to change. They uh, gave some hints to some things that maybe not a lot of people are going to notice until later in this episode about the world and how it is. And the stuff with Andy and how he made that land in. So far, they've just been handling the anime great so far. And the animation quality has been so nice and good. I think there's a lot of focus on water animation too, and how they're uh, displaying Gina's power. They're like, they're definitely getting it down from how it was in the manga. Just can't wait to see how they do the the other stuff that's coming up. They might, have, uh, well, since it's newer, but, you know, her power is kind of like, uh, well, at this point, come on, kind of like Elf and Lee. If you know, you know, but. Great job. 